All right. Well, I'm so tired after the Super Bowl game. I live in Kansas City and the fireworks are crazy tonight. Mm. Oh, I bet. Congrats. We did not watch. We did not partake. But he read about it afterward and said it sounded like a fun game. Pretty epic sounded. Oh. Over time. I was working. I feel like I've been working for two days nonstop. In fact. And you have. Yes, but I slept. Do you know how long I slept last night? It was like eight hours straight through. That's a normal amount of sleep. Not for me. Not for at all for me. I usually sleep four or five and then get up and then sometimes get a couple more, but eight hours straight through. Like I didn't even wake up. That's unusual That's for me. Unusual. So. Because by the time I wake up, you've already probably been up two or three times. Yeah, usually at least twice. Yeah, I'm. It's been a long couple of days, but things are coming along nicely. Hey, Courtney. Hi, September. You usually sleep nine hours. <laughs> yeah, I mean Anna's a, a regular ten to twelve hour sleeper, but not me. I don't do that. Not normally. Adele says I would love eight hours. Hey, Rachel. Russell, hello. Hi, Sandy. So we're going to continue tonight with the R2-D2. And I'm going to try and do two bags. Remember how that went last time? It's pretty late for two bags, but I'm going to hustle. If, if Aaron hustles with me, I think we can do it. They didn't look like big bags. so But, but it has been traditionally that the bags are taking about an hour apiece, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so we are starting with bag eight and then we're going to try and do nine. Just remember when it says two times. Yes. Well, we don't have that right now. Right now we're going to do, we're going to start here with bag eight and then I'm going to make this larger so he can see comments and we'll get started. Let's get this party started. Oh, I think that's larger than, there we go. Um, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's not even, we don't even do anything with that. <laughs> Lay them next to each other. Okay, great. Um, and also, I'm going to move this. Can you move that? Because I want them to be able to see what I'm building. There. Still, we're trying to, to figure out lighting for the, um, for Lego is very different than lighting for everything else I do on this channel um for, on, for the zen zen zone stuff because everything else i do the crocheting and the coloring and you know the other things have to be very well lit and like you're looking at that stuff from above but this is actually time with us together where you're looking at it from the side and the light actually needs to be lower in order for you to see this on the table so it's interesting difference um Okay. So, yeah, I have been working really hard for days and days now. Probably like four days, I guess, all told, with getting emails and stuff together. On um, getting people into the new community space. And it's it's going well. We're almost there. I think we need like 12 more people to finish up. And tomorrow's a big meeting. Uh, Jenny, we are not up late. We're, we're always on the Zen zone until about 3 a.m. This is everybody's wind down time. Um, this is the time where we get on and chill and relax and chat and just do relaxing stuff. Sandy says, you inspired me to start a diamond art after, after five years or four or five years it's not a five year long diamond art is it after she came out of retirement <laughs> that's awesome uh we're gonna be doing i'm waiting for mine they're supposed to arrive i think tuesday so we'll be doing diamond art on the page this week sometime yes emily it's great for insomniacs and and you know it, honestly people were there was someone who was like i'm not gonna watch any of these because i'm not up that late 
You, you, can re be. you can replay them. I, and I, I get it that people like want to be there live so they can interact with the conversation. But let me tell you, if you're watching this back on a replay, you're actually helping a little more because we get more ads on replay. So don't worry if you can't make it for the live. If you can make it sometimes, great. If you're watching on a replay, it's just as well. And actually, I know a lot of people who do watch it on replay and they find it convenient during the day because they just put it on so they can listen and then they do something else while they're listening. They either they clean or they go through a closet or they do their own crochet project or whatever. They just listen. And um, that, that works with, with what we're doing because it doesn't change a lot. You know, like what's happening on the screen doesn't change as much as, as just hearing what's going on. So, all right, let's see. He, here, I, I, I'm confused. What do these go with? They're, that goes here? Mm -hmm. This is here? Yeah. Why is it on this? Okay. All right. So, I'm going to put these and you can watch the chat. I live 10 minutes from where Travis Kelsey lives and Taylor spends a lot of time. I hope to see them shopping sometime. <laughs> Who? I guess Collector Heart lives in Kansas City or somewhere. About. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Are the blue thing? I can't see. Are the blue things on that side? They go inside. The these aren't the right ones, though. They aren't? No, you gave me these ones. You gave me the two-sided one. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Since I've been sick, I missed the coloring live. I hope to replay that tomorrow while coloring. Cool. It was it was a nice relaxing one. I still have to finish it. This is oh, I got my blood pressure machine on top of it, so I don't want to pull it down. But I made it halfway through the bunny picture. I'm gonna finish it on another um, probably tomorrow or the next day. Saying says I was planning to finish coloring the bunny picture tonight, but I found a box of over 200 love letters from my grandfather to my grandmother in 1937 to 1944. Oh, wow. What a great find. That's cool. That's awesome. Stacy says, how did you lose a piece? We didn't lose it. They lost. It just wasn't there. It just wasn't in the pack unfortunately that was the last time we never found it though i'll have to contact them and ask for them to send another one once we finish up and know that there aren't any more sorry that you're in pain lisa hope uh hopefully it doesn't last long oh lisa my knee is hurting me tonight as well i keep Keep fussing with it. Tracy says, hi, Nan and Aaron. You're both looking great. You encourage me to get back into adult coloring. Ah, awesome. It's so relaxing. She said, um, so hot and humid, hard to sleep at nights. I'm Tracy at the top of the North Island in New Zealand. Wait, this doesn't make sense, Aaron. Well, why um does it make sense? Am I missing a piece? Should have been five pieces. I put oh, oh. don't 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 here we that. go already. That. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Oh no, where'd it go? No, Look what you did. Oh, geez. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right there. Right there. Oh, right there. <laughs> this is what happens when your body hurts. And like nobody, nobody can reach down and get the get the Lego piece off the floor because everybody's creaking and groaning and <laughs> 
falling apart. Oh man, it's that's too uh, much. It's too much. I just came on quick to say hi. I would have to be up early tomorrow for work. Sorry, I'm just coming quick. Hey, well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I I need. I'm being attacked by my hair. Um, what is happening here? I don't know. I did that. I did that. Yes, I did that. I did that. I did that. I did that. I closed that. I closed that. I closed that. <laughs> but look at this piece here. Look at that. Do you see that? Yeah. That's this piece here. And it says that it goes here. Well, but so there's... there's another piece underneath that. Yeah. So what piece? Because it doesn't show it here. Mm. And it doesn't show it here. So what it's, is that? It's this piece. What piece? That's no. It's a two. No, three. that's the piece that's already there. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm putting that. this one on top, but what is that black thing in the middle? Nothing as a shadow. Okay. And how does that go on here? Explain this to me. Explain this to me how that Just goes. What's on top? Of Explain this to me how that goes on there with, there with these blue things in the way. Maybe you push it. Well, these look pretty flush with the. Okay. This must have to be. The... This is. This is how my day has been going all day, Emily, all day long. Emily Rose says, uh, I have a question. Do you have playlists set up on your channel? I like hitting play all so I can listen and work without checking between videos, yeah, ads yeah. and all. Yeah, go, go, go look. There's, I've had playlists set up forever, forever, Since the whole time. Before. If you go, if you go look at the front page, you'll see the button where it says playlists. Yep. Okay. This is ridiculous. Why? Okay, let's try this again. So now we're going to do this piece. Michael's is next crochet kit, Lego piece catcher apron with catcher pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. September says, I have a coloring app on my phone that I use to relax before I go to sleep at night. Nice. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm ready for the next. Good night, Tammy. I'm ready for the next thing. Okay. So this is where we're at. I figured out that these little, see those little blue knobs sticking out? They were on the wrong side, and that's why I couldn't get that piece on. But it's fixed now. Thanks, Chelsea. I had a beautiful, beautiful giant salad Aaron made me for dinner, and I couldn't even eat half of it. It was so big and so filling, I couldn't even eat half of it. And I'm so sad because it was delicious, and I wanted to eat it. And then uh, Aaron and Anna had Del Taco. <laughs> but I was good. It was it was an amazing salad. Seriously, it was so good. Everything went very well together. Excellent. Okay. This is this is a complex uh, bag. This is like more complex than what we've done so far. And I feel like the pieces don't want to push down tonight. As long as they're actually are available and not missing. Right. Yeah. Now we'll probably be good. We'll be good. Two of these. Two of these little Good night, Amanda. things. Two of these little things. Tracy says, um, I have a question. What would it cost for a set of those good coloring pencils cost to be sent to New Zealand? Oh, um, are you talking about the markers that I used on the coloring page? Have it on Amazon? Um, I have no idea okay. how much it would cost to shipped to New Zealand. Um, did 
so if you go, did you go find them on our Amazon page? I know you can't buy them there, but did you try like copying the title of them and pasting it into the, do you have Amazon New Zealand? Yeah, you must, sure right? Or some version. I know every, every country has got their own version. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering if you tried to search for the same ones already and they're just not available. Yeah, I'm sure they have they have Amazon, but they just might not have the exact same products available as the problem. Um, I've never sent anything to New Zealand, so I have no idea what the shipping is like for that. Cheryl, this is my 18-year-old granddaughter as a manager at, of a Taco Bell. Nice. I used to work at Taco Bell when my... That was close. <laughs> when my... my other two children were little. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Tina. That was back in like 2002 or something like that. How long did you work there? Many moons. I don't know, like almost three years, two and a half years, something like that. Oh, it was before. It was before I went back to school and got my degrees. Sharon says it's costing me $25 to ship a 5x5 five five box three inches high to Canada. I told you not to do the box, Sharon. I told you. I told you to use an envelope. I have experience shipping to Canada. If you use boxes, it's way more expensive. And, and also, there's... Um, I think they have international flat rate priority which is sometimes cheaper than going by weight, depending on what you're shipping. Is it, is, do I pronounce your name Aristea? Aristea? Aristea. Aristea. Mm -hmm. says, hi, Nana. Hi, Aaron from Montreal, yes. Quebec, Canada. Hello. Hello, Aristea. We see you here. I know, but I haven't said her name before, so I just want to make sure I'm saying it right because I don't want to, don't want to mess it up. Oh, Lisa, I'm so sorry about the pain in your knee. No international flat rate. I thought they had. Yeah, UPS is always more, I've always found that UPS is more expensive. Um, sometimes FedEx will be better, but UPS, I don't know. I haven't had good luck shipping with UPS at all. And they said the envelope is the same price? Hmm. I thought you were just sending a soft thing. Shouldn't take up that much space. Okay, where are we going? Where does this go? I can't see that picture at all. Is it in the middle? Is it in the in middle, middle two pieces? Okay. And then, oh, I know what we're doing. We did this last time. I did this last time. It looks, ends up looking like this, right? Right? Yes? Hello? Yes. Right? Is that correct? Is that correct or is it supposed to go up one more? Just like a flat. And then you put this in is it is it there. correct or does it go up one more level? It goes up one more level because okay. it's supposed to be I wasn't sure. Here. There we go. That's it. Michael says I received gifts from New Zealand, but haven't sent there yet. Got great perky nanas, banana flavored candy treats. Ooh. What? Okay, so this is going, this is a very complex bag, y'all. I'm not kidding. This seems so much more complicated than usual for some reason. This is going here and that's going there. Very intricate. I mean, look at, this is what I've built all right. Like, what? Looks like a computer chip board or something. <laughs> hey Rachel. 
Oh, focus, camera, focus. No, that's not it. Focus. 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 Camera doesn't want to focus. There it goes. And Patty says, I found the Puppy Bowl to be more entertaining than the Super Bowl. Isn't that usually the case? <laughs> unless you're unless you're like super into football, which I am not. Hey, Mary. Oh, look at these teeny tiny pieces now. What? Itty bitty teeny tiny. So this goes on here. And then this goes here. Wow. Okay. Wait, this is, is this? Uh... This goes here. This is, okay. And then. What? Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Huh. Exactly. What does that do? That's what you say. What does that do? Yellow po I know, Stacey. It's a bit hmm. teeny weeny. Yellow polka dot bikini. So All right. Says I only watched the halftime show. Which uh, musicians were at the halftime show? Now I don't understand how this goes on. Wasn't it Taylor Swift or something? No. Cause, no. no? Why is everybody talking about Taylor she's Swift? Dating Travis Kelsey. I don't know who that is. Oh, Usher. I haven't seen him in a. About 20 years. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Looks like a sailboat. Sailing. Take me away. So when I'm not building Lego. Next. Oh, she played the halftime show. Is Jamelia sleeping with Anna? No, Mike, Jamelia doesn't sleep with Anna. She leaves when Anna falls asleep. When you're done and R2-D2 comes to life with a hologram message about where the missing piece is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, that's great. I love that. That would be cool. That would <laughs> That'd be really helpful. Help me, Lego. You're my only hope. <laughs> Oh, Stacy, thank you for buying a couple things off the Amazon affiliate page. It's much appreciated. And then you added more things. That's even cooler. We just figured that out that you can do that. You can buy something out of our, our page and then load up your cart with whatever you need. And we get credit for all of it. It's cool. Emily says, I wasn't cheering either team, but what a game. Yeah, I heard it was just crazy over time. Taylor's dating a player. Why do people care who she's dating? People like entertainment. <laughs> that's that's nothing. Uh. Reba did the national anthem. Mm -hmm. I think Travis and Taylor will be engaged soon, if not already. How long have they been dating? Not that long. Well, then why would they be engaged? Don't they need everybody, to everybody seems to think this is this is the even so you rush into things. She's the most famous pop star in the world, really? Is that true? Huh. Okay. And he's a very popular football player. Is he? It's like the two most popular people in high school are oh. each other. Oh really? <laughs> oh, it's like that. Even more reason not to care. I never got into that clicks in high school, what the popular kids were doing. It was, eh, whatever.
All right. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute, Mr. Lego. Does this go here? Is that right? Yeah, I think that is. Okay. I got it. I'm supposed to be rooting for the Niners since I'm from San Francisco. Okay, I need but these. They're not my favorite team. These yeah. pieces. I have to build another one of these things. Oh. Okay. I gotta build two. I gotta build two of the sails for the sailboat. <laughs> Lisa says they are not engaged. Emily says politics don't go there. Yeah, right. Isn't that what clicks and stuff are? Sharon says, I don't, I don't like Taylor, and I didn't watch the Super Bowl, and I'm not an Usher fan. It had <laughs> nothing for me. Well, what about the puppies? Well, that's separate. Oh. That's that's all I associate the Super Bowl with. Chicken wings and puppies. What does Super Bowl mean to you? Puppy bowls. Chicken wings and puppies. puppy bowls. <laughs> Okay. Wait, I don't need this. I already did that and I already did that. So I'm over here now. Don't yeah, lose, don't lose that. it. Don't lose that. I need this gray guy here. Hey Debbie. In Oregon. What part of Oregon are you in? I've only been to like Bend and where else? Areas around Bend <laughs> and the drive from the airport to Bend. <laughs> what are you doing? I need pieces. Uh, here we go. In time. I'm just going to eat them. I'm going to swallow the pieces. I don't know where they went. Stacy says, I love the photo I found of Aaron and Jamelli on the patio looking across the lake. Jamelli takes some good photos. <laughs> There's a picture of Anna and Jamelli uh, looking across the lake at Epcot, Disney World. It's an equally cool photo. She's, she's good at photos where she's looking away from the camera. She's not as good, as good at photos where she has to look at the camera. <laughs> Lisa says, I made chicken wings, meatball hero, pigs in a blanket, and had cheese and crackers. Nice. Debbie, it is 1.34 a.m. Oregon is beautiful. Absolutely. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Done. This is a black piece? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it a blue piece last time? Yeah, that's a black piece this time. Oh, wait, we missed something. Where's the, the, doesn't it look like there's stuff in here? No. No? No. Oh. Ha, huh. okay. Debbie Ashley says, you're up late. We're not. No, we're always up until th about 3 a.m. on this, on the, on Zen Zone. It's, it's a late night page. That's our whole thing that we do. All right. No. No, I have. I have. Oh, so this one doesn't get another side. Okay. No, Darcy. So the, the piece never was found. It never was there. Okay. Never to be seen again. Or ever. Okay. In the first place. Now. Oh, look, baby. Look at the camera. <laughs> It's a head squeezer. No, psh, psh, I'm psh, head. Psh. 
Um, now it looks like the, uh, what do you call them? The gates on Never Ending Story. The, oh, yeah. What are those things called? Does anybody remember? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Those look at it, baby. Things that are shooting. Doesn't it look like them? Oh, yeah. Looks like where he goes through the. They shoot lasers. Mm hmm. I didn't realize there were so many houses so close to you on the lake. There's actually not a lot of houses at all, just a few that go around, around the. The bend. What are we building? We are building R two D two Lego. Look at this is how far, how far we've made it so far over the course of a few different live streams. See his body. Started off building this this middle leg first, and then this cage in the center. And then these outer legs. And then his feet. We did feet last time. So he's coming along quite nicely. See how big he is? And then I, I'm guessing we're going to finish building out the body. And then finally the head. So. We've got a few bags left. We're on bag. We're on bags eight and nine. And I think there's 11 or 12 total. So we've got a couple more lives to finish them up. Stacy says the Oracle. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That's it, Stacy. Emily Rose says, Aaron, pursue your YouTube channel with zest and zeal. It's such a creative blend <laughs> of creativity. Thank you. Yes. He's trying to get caught up on some commission pieces so he can get back to. What happened? Did you listen to pieces again? No, I just went. Uh, oh. So he can get back to videos. Do you have any on, on back backup? Or no, are you all caught up this at this point of videos? I have to put some narration on one of them. No shorts? Mm -mm. Oh. Okay. We filmed a video today. This is the wrong piece. Um, we filmed a video today that's gonna be for here for our YouTube page. Remember when we get done posting the replays from 2023, we're going to start posting new content. We filmed one of those videos today. I have to go in and edit it. It's an hour long. I have to edit it down to like 20 minutes. Um, but it's a talk. It's a talk about it Tuesday episode about um, what was the topic? Our, our changing family. Yep. We talked about our family changing over the years. So that'll be fun to edit and put together. Stacey's, I love that movie. It's a good movie. You just pinched yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Bit me. Kiss it. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> it made me jump. You see how much yeah. I'm like, oh. It scared me. Lorna says, morning, Nana Aaron, at 6.40 a.m. in the U.K. All right. Good morning. It is time to rise and shine. Penny says, I'm either freezing oh. or burning up. I can't decide which I am. Baby, look. Look, watch. That's watch. his front chest, I think. Watch. Closed down all the way. Yeah, that's his front chest. What does it do? These little tool things come out. He does that and he's like, yeah. cool. Guys, my knees used to her, but not since the, my knee, knee replacements. Oh, that's a big surgery. Knee replacement. That's a lot of that's a lot of hard work. A lot of rehab. 
Darcy says, Nana, and when you're done, you're mailing it to me, right? The R2-D2? You get a package at your door, and he's like, mur, 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 mur. Jesus, says, I slammed my finger in the storm door to my house. Hey. Ooh, no. Uh. Yucky. That is yucky. That is not nice feelings. Not good things. There's this, yes, why not? <laughs> Because Aaron has to put it up up high in the kitchen. So he can watch over us. This is this I don't know if this is right. Are there are more? Are these the only ones. This, those are the only ones. How do I put them on here? On the other side. Mm -mm. See? Mm -hmm. It's it doesn't make sense because they because look. The posts on them go the same spot as the other posts. These can't be right. It's the only thing that looks like that. That doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> Stacy, I said a few choice words. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. Well, That's I really it? Yeah, this it doesn't out. make sense. I mean, that really doesn't make sense. They don't even, it doesn't even fit like between the other spaces, Aaron. There's no possible way. So, this one, then, maybe? Well, they're not white, they're gray. I know, but that's the only. So, no. But I think it should be that kind of a piece. That's not what I mean. yeah. This doesn't make sense. These are the only ones. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I might have figured it out. I might have figured it out. One, two, three, four. Wait, no. Wait, because that shows. Maybe not. That shows six, which means. Yeah, this doesn't. How would this even go on here? This is my apartment has pocket doors, and I'm always slamming my finger in them. Ouch. Oh, no. Paula says four years ago, mom slammed her car door on my finger. It was a freaky accident. She felt so bad. I bet you felt pretty bad, too. Ouch. <laughs> We're never going to get to the next bag at this rate. This There's no possible way that these fit here. It's. Look at this, you guys. These Thanks, pieces have these posts on the bottom. See that? And then it's supposed to go on, on here, right? But look. You can't. Even if you go in the offset, like, it. It, it doesn't work. There's no possible way. Like, it, they're too big. The posts are too big to even... Look at that. Mm -mm. They're definitely gray. Yeah, well, the only ones we have that work like well are these, these white guys. Where's the... Can I see the bowls? Did you look in the bowls? Mm-hmm. Huh. I don't even know what to do. I can give these ones to you, and then if we need them, then we'll know. No, we can't do that, because then if stuff gets buried, then it's not going to work. I mean, I literally just opened these bags. I just opened these bags. Thank you, Penny. Oh, yeah, I, I have lost a little bit of weight. Um, 
Janet wants to talk to you about football. Uh, was I cheering for the Niners? Let me see that other plate. The 49ers. Um, I, I was not. I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. How many of these flat white ones are there? Can you find out how many of the flat white ones there are? And I'm going to move, I'm going to go forward in the book and count them and see if they gave us the wrong color. Because see, look, baby, here's that piece that you were giving me. They're right here. Oh, yeah. So they're meant for something else. Well, maybe, but can you count them and then I'll see how many they call for and then that'll tell us. Maybe they just put them in the book that's the wrong color. I don't like football either, Stacy. You are not alone. I like football. There's four of these guys. There's four white ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. So bag nine calls for four of them. Mm -hmm. See? So that's not it. Mm -mm. Not right. We can possibly have another oh, bag with more. Some. It's one. Two. Okay. Moving on. Next. Page. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Thank you, Tina, for the super. Thank you guys for the super stickers. Super, super cool sending us super stickers. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> yeah, they were hiding. They were really hiding because I looked too. Janet, you just like the commercials. Did you see any good commercials tonight? Were there any like, were there any commercials that I should look for on on the internet tomorrow? Oh, thanks, Tina. I, I heard they had the um, Deadpool and Wolverine trailer. Oh, really? I gotta watch that. Okay. I'm, I'm, how do you? All of these. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, see, now those pieces work. Because they go there like that. <clears throat> they connect all these these pieces together. It's like an underneath piece for connecting things. Nifty. That makes so much more sense. Thank you, Stacy, for the super sticker. <laughs> Lorna. <laughs> anyone on here from Oregon? I don't know if anyone else is from Oregon. Thank you, Lisa. I've been there a number of times. Chris says she liked the Clydesdale commercial. Uh, is it for the beer? For the <laughs> for the brewskis? Well, this is kind of cool. I feel like I'm making wings. Maybe yeah. Might be. Kimberly says she's close in Washington. Been there a few times. Thank you, Debbie. Stacy used to live in Washington, but now she's in Iowa. Lisa, do super stickers cost? Yes, super stickers are like tips. Kind of like stars on, on Facebook. But it's this is YouTube's version of it. 
beautiful comeback video of Jeremy Renner. Who's Jeremy Renner? He's the guy playing Hawkeye in uh, the Avengers that got run over by that snow cat thing. He was driving around. I don't know. Oh, I do know what you want because I read about it like a few months back because I think you and I talked about it. Because he came up in some other capacity. I don't remember why or how. Okay. Wait, did I do this wrong? Did I do that? I feel like this is on backwards. How though? What did I do? Oh dear. What have you done? What did I do? I gotta check. I gotta double. Oh boy, you really did it good this time. <laughs> Somehow. I. I. Did it wrong. 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 To help to repair it. Quick. Fix it. What was I thought? What was I thinking? What do you want? That's fair. <laughs> 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 Probably wasn't. <laughs> I need I need the remover. I need the tool. Mm, thank you, Michael. Michael says, "May the force be with you, Nana and Aaron, and any missing Lego pieces." <laughs> <laughs> Janet says there were a few cool ones. Look for the team members flying south, and a cool one with Beyonce. Okay, flip dizzy. Thank you, Flip Dizzy. Do we know you about another name? Flip Dizzy. I like that name. It's trademarked, apparently. I like that name. Stacy says, I'm wearing my Anna Meets dog hoodie. Isn't that a nice. good one? Erin needs to do an updated version with Jamelli's name. Listen, we have a whole series of uh, Anna and Jamelli merch that I have been trying to get up for six months. Oh, I need to do a lot of things. It's coming eventually. Eventually. Maybe this month. You never know. You never know. You never, never know. You know what? You know what you should, <gasps> you should do? So remember the limited edition hoodies we did last year at this time of year before we went to pick up Jamelli mm -hmm. that had Anna on the dog and he said, so this is love? Mm -hmm. You should do an updated Anna and Jamelli with them, like close up Anna and Jamelli. So this is love, and it can be an updated one year anniversary hoodie be cool. because That's it's happening. it's it's Valentine's month, right. so it can be a love, dude. If you can rock that out, I can. you can it's rock that out in a couple get, days. I could put it up. It up I could put it up this week. When is Valentine's Day? The 14th. It's, 14th. it's Wednesday. Oh, maybe we might not get it up by Valentine's Day, but I could, I could try. <laughs> okay. I got stuck. Hold on. I'm going to figure this part out. 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 Hi, Nikki. Thanks. Thanks, Lorna. Debbie says, I bought one of Anna's kindness. Nice. Kind people do beautiful things. That is trademarked. That quote is trademarked. So, yes, thank you for buying that merch. That's good. That's good. That's our core merch line. Chelsea I'm, says, that would be cute. I would so buy it. I could get that if you get that shut up. You could crank. I, I might. I would, I'd have to do it. I'm gonna do it on on the Procreate because then we can oh, just transfer it. It's gonna it. take you. It's gonna take you. You know, because it's just black and white. Okay. Do you say so? Hmm. I'm having trouble with this one. I don't know what's going on. 
I don't understand how to do this. What's happening here? Yeah. Oh, baby, where are these pieces coming from? Where Where is this? You've got these little ones here, but where's this? This piece? Where is this? Mm -hmm. No, this, Aaron. What? Where yeah, is? Yeah, I don't. I never. Don't know which one I did, but... It's right here, though. Because yeah, well, I, I this is the part I'm confused about. Do you see this here? Let me show you this. Do you see that? Yeah. This is the piece that goes there. But how? It goes over these three pieces. These. But how? Tell me. Look. Look. Yeah. Uh, no, babe. Not like that. Look at it. No. There's a whole gap. It doesn't. I Maybe Aaron should be building tonight because I am struggling. I'm struggling. This is not making sense to me tonight. My brain is shut down. <laughs> there needs to be one more piece. Janice says, who knew I'd be able to talk with you from Michigan? All the way from Michigan? Yeah, Valentine's is Wednesday. I know, but look, 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 look. <gasps> we should have to, we should have to like, we're not drinkers, so we can't make it a drink. Like, do a shot every time you drop a piece. No, we're not drinkers, but. There should be something. There should be some kind of punishment for, for, dropping. for dropping pieces. There appears to be in, in the, that diagram another level. I know. Look. Look here. Look here. I'm good here, right? Do you see this? Do you see this guy is on this way, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, I, I mm, mm, wait. I think I know. I think I know. Hold on. I think I just figured it out. I'm telling you, I'm slow tonight. Nikki says, Aaron, I've been playing your sketchy friendly videos to help you. Thank you. That's awesome. That's Thank nice. you. That's great. I figured out what it is. Look. Watch this. Kabam. There you go. The, that piece has to overhang the, the empty part. And then, but I still need this piece, baby. I still need this piece you didn't give me. You didn't. It's it's not here. This is it. Yes, sir. And then, and then these pieces go here. Oh, I did it. I feel really smart now. Again, I am smart. Once again, I feel smart. There we go. Paula wants to know, Nana, what is your favorite project you've done since you've been on YouTube? You mean since since like what do you? What do you mean since I've been on YouTube? Do you mean like in Zen Zone projects or like because we started YouTube in 2018. So that'd be like all of the whole five years. You need a trough at the edge of the desk to co to cut. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. I'm missing pieces, babe. I'm missing pieces. Look at look what you gave me. Do you see? I'm missing pieces. Uh, Zen Zone projects. I think um, I think my favorite do you, okay, do you mean sorry, I have all these clarifying questions because that's how I am. If that's your, do you if your autism. Do you mean like like my favorite at the completion? Like, I look at it now and I'm like, oh, that was the best. Or do you mean, like, my favorite to do, to put together? Because it's different. It, the answer would be different, depending on, on the question. I know. I My brain. This is how my brain works. I'm sorry. Michael says, maybe you do the live from the floor. That's <laughs> thing. Close your dropping space. <laughs> <laughs> it's one one solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Good night, Mike. It's warm in here. It's 80 degrees in my room. That's I think you have a breeze from the I can't. Well, I mean the door's facing that way, so that's why. Very warm. It's still 79.6. Humidity. Okay, you ready? I'm ready for the next page. Here we go. Here we go. I'm telling you guys, this is intricate tonight. Look at this. This really has to be like the most intricate bag. It's very detailed. Well, I guess it makes sense if it's the front of his chest that it would be more detailed, right, babe? Yes. Because that's the part of the thing. Yeah, there's lots, at. lots of stuff going on. <laughs> Paula says, tell us both. Okay. Okay, so my favorite project that I've like worked on, like while I'm actively working on it, was making Aaron's tiger for his birthday mm -hmm. by far, because that was a total labor of love. And it was my first time ever crocheting. And um, I enjoyed learning how to do it with you guys, you guys helping me. And um, I enjoyed making something super special for him. So I enjoyed that is was my favorite project while I was working on it. But my favorite. I just, I'm fired. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole pint. Oh, no. We just lost 12 more pieces. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you need light? Well, I just don't know. Where they all went. Well, I don't know how many pieces. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough as we go through the, the book and there's no more pieces. <laughs> I'm just going to have to wait. Just, they might have gone in the bin, too. I'm just going to have to wait until we come across a piece we can't find. <laughs> Chelsea says, I'm trying so hard not to laugh. Go ahead. I'm going laugh. I'm going to <laughs> this is, apparently this is a bad night for this <laughs> um okay let's move on do we have these pieces right or did you not give me enough I yet sorry gave you some stuff and yeah, make sure you got all those and if not here you can consolidate some of this too to make make things better yeah, i need to just get these away from me you can't get them away from you. How are you going to give me the pieces I'll if they're... I'll get them when I need to get them. <laughs> they shouldn't be around me. Okay. Well, is, is this all the pieces for this step? I believe so. Okay. Find those ones. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So the project that I like the most at the end is, is my frog. My frog coloring. Frog that I colored where Erin came in and gave her eyelashes. That's the one I like the most like, to look at. Anyway. Okay. All of them? No. Oh. No. What is happening with them here? Are they? It's it's like a set. Is it like a round? Is it like a sectional? Yeah. Where do the little single pieces go versus the double pieces? Because I the, can't. The corners are the single pieces. And okay. The long ones are the middle Thank pieces. you. Thank you. I just I can't see the differentiation in the pieces with the navy blue pieces in this book, even in the light. Oh, Brittany, I'm so sorry. You've got a sick baby. Oh, Patty says, Debbie, I'm in Redmond. What's the other place I've been? Redmond. Redmond and Bend. 
I've been there. I've been there, Patty. I lived there. Well, I basically lived there for a month building houses. Sky says, my mom and I lost some tiny pieces, but then there were extras. We've got a Ziploc bag of tiny extras now. <laughs> Michael says, can you order little parachutes for the remaining Lego pieces for their jump diamond? <laughs> All right, look at that. It really does look like a little, like like one of those fancy, can you guys see that? There's no light. It looks like one of those fancy sectionals you see in the rich people's houses. Like a whole, like around a, a, a center coffee table. You see that? <laughs> Okay. Tracy says, Angel? Who's Angel? That was funny, but don't laugh at him because he's really upset that it was a good one. He's not really upset. Are I mean, you kidding? I, I, was, I, was, I was frustrated with myself. He's not really upset. I know my husband. He is not really. I, that's, you think that's really upset. <laughs> you don't want to see really upset. Debbie says, yes, Patty, I know where Redmond is. Okay. Where are we? Wait, what are these? I did that. Okay, I'm here. I'm missing a piece, though. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Bibby, look. You're, you're good, okay. No, look. I, <laughs> I need well, these pieces. I'm supposed to do this one. You gotta give me those pieces. Is that it? I don't know. It was there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trusting that you've got the the piece process, and I'm just grabbing them. But then I noticed I needed two of those tan ones, so I'm like, that's not gonna work. Ooh, Why does that keep happening? <laughs> the conspiracy. They're, they're all on the run tonight. Okay. All right. Now, where, honey, where's these pieces? Where did these, is this the, um, the long ones on this side. Where are these pieces? Where? They're no, Aaron. These right here. They're on the opposite of this. This. There's two long ones and a short one, and I don't know which. The is long which. ones are this way. The okay. short one is this way. That's what I thought. You got. You got to let me know which one you're talking about. I don't know. I got it. I got it. And then these pieces go here. Um, yes. Yay, you did it. Stacy says they're probably on the floor. Yes, infinity couch. Yes, Michael, that's what I was thinking of. Chris says, Nana, when you're up late on here, does Anna ask what you did on the tube when she gets up in the morning? No. I don't even know if she realizes we're, we're online. I mean, of course she knows that we go live after she goes to bed. But I don't know if she really cares or pays attention as to like which nights we do or well, what we're working um, on. Not even on her radar. Okay, this goes in here. And this goes up here. Jenna says, I ordered the diamond paintings house plant kit. Can't wait to see it. <gasps> I almost, I wanted to get that one, but then I'm like, what am I going to do with them? But I think they're very cool looking. I'm glad you got that one. I hope you love it. I ended up getting the two space ones. Those are the ones I'm going to work on. Chelsea says, I believe in you, Erin. You will find the pieces or they will find you. Like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> now that's the truth because Erin, so Jamelli has bones, right? She has these. She has these. Uh, what what are they made out of, babe? 
Like they're called Nyla Bone or something. No, they're not Nyla Bones. What are they called? And they're kind of like Nyla Bones. They're kind of like Nyla Bones, but they're the better ones because certain ones you're not supposed to let them chew on because plastic breaks off. So um, she has these bones and she chews on them and leaves them laying around, of course, because she's a dog. And Anna and I have never stepped on one. Never. Aaron, it doesn't matter where it is in the floor. It doesn't matter if it's all the way under, halfway under the edge of the couch, or if it's in the middle of the floor. It doesn't matter. Every time he'll walk through the room and step on it. Every time. And then I don't pick it up and then I step on it again. Like he'll be going, he'll be going all the way on this side of the room and the bone will be over here. He'll go all, and then he'll go and step on it just to go back. I swear. Just to scream. It's so crazy. I don't know how you're like a magnet yeah. for those things. Tracy says, no, I didn't mean to say that. It was bad. I thought it was funny too. It's funny. Oh, I didn't mean to say that was bad. I thought it was funny. A dollar a drop. I know, Debbie. That's the first thing I thought of, like the swear jar, where if you drop a piece, you have to put money in. But we don't have any cash, so <laughs> we don't have any cash and we don't drink. Yeah. So we can't think of anything fun. There's no good punishment. What's a good punishment for us? I don't know. Okay. Um, guy says with the Lego botanicals, I call a lot of the pieces caltrops. Yes, they are like caltrops. It's like it's like throwing a bunch of jacks out behind you. Okay. Hey, Sandy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it goes there. Okay. And this goes there. Okay. Uh, these are not, these aren't right, though. These are. This is not right. Is it? What? This is not right. These what aren't these aren't the right pieces. These ones? Yeah. No, this is this like one? twice as long. No, that, there's a, there's a one. This is like twice twice as long. It covers two full spaces. See uh, you can see it right here. Yeah, but there's two of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, moving on. Next page. Michael <gasps> says, vacuum with the mesh over the nozzle to pick up pieces or build two feet to walk around the floor with the scream sound when they step on pieces. <laughs> like I like the mesh over the nozzle trick. That's that's fancy. Tina says, Aaron has to draw. Aaron has to draw a gnome I every did. time you drop a piece. You did? I mean, I did. As, as I was going to show you so you would laugh at it. When did you draw a gnome? Last night? Yeah. Oh, gnome, you didn't. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Sandy says, I can't wait to see it all done. I know, me too. I feel like we've been working on this one forever. I bought, I bought him this Lego set for Christmas 2021. No joke. <laughs> right? 2021. Is that right? Yes. Yes. I bought him this Lego set for Christmas 2021, right? Yeah. Christmas, Christmas 2021. Y'all. Picture it. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas 2021. <laughs> We're just now building it. All right. Let's. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> it's fantastic oh this isn't even <laughs> this is not like this is not like the gnome that I was thinking of this is like a gnome that belongs in like Lord of the Rings Oh, I love his nose and his mustache and his lower lip. This 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 guy's badass. 
<laughs> oh, you have to, you have to make him miniature, miniature like the. You, this is what I want crawling around my coloring book. But I want him in the funniest of places, okay. like, like hang, like hanging, like he's gonna hang, like he does parkour in the forest, <laughs> just in the. Oh, you guys. You guys have to see this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it. Look at this. Look at that. How awesome is that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Babe, he's glorious. <laughs> For real. Oh, my gosh. I want to sculpt him. <laughs> Legitimately. You just came up with this on your own. I know. After you just told me to draw him out. Aaron. This is so good. <laughs> Why you laugh? Don't you guys think that think this is so good? Right? Seriously. I mean, I laughed just because he's he's funny and it is totally delightful, but I wasn't laughing because it, I thought your work was funny. I think this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I just was not expecting this detailed little old man. <laughs> He's adorable. I, I, I want it. I want him in my pocket. <laughs> I want to keep him. <laughs> He's fantastic. See? Thank Look. you, guys. <laughs> Everybody agrees. He's fantastic. Yes, I love him. Really wish you would do some like comic strips, like like old funny pages style. I think if you start a series, you could really get some traction on that. Especially, you know, something fantasy like this would be cool, and then and then something about Anna, <clears throat> your 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 dad moments with Anna, because there's so many funny moments. You guys, I I heard them this morning. This morning, they're in the, in the kitchen while Aaron's making my breakfast. And she's just... And I have no idea what she's telling him about, but she's telling him everything. I think this was this morning. Or was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. And um, and she, she, she said... She, she, like, got all... Like, he, he wasn't listening. Like, she thought he wasn't listening or something. And she was like... I don't know if she said, did you hear what I said or whatever? And Aaron goes, you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, it was such a dad thing. It was such a dad response. I don't think it was this morning. I think it was la Yesterday. the night before because yeah. I was talking to my mom at the time. And, and I was laughing about it. And I said, he reminds me of dad in a lot of ways. It was so funny. You, those <laughs> kinds of things. Just you guys have so many like stories and 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 pretend imagination things that you've come up with and things that you do that can you imagine a comic strip that's got a section about the fart way? <laughs> people would love it. I'm telling you, people would love it. <laughs> Right. Sandy says the two of them together would make one hell of a story. Absolutely. People. And, and the thing is, if you're doing comic strip style and you're updating it every week, just once a week, you give people a little more of the story every week and they get invested and they keep coming back because they want to know what's going to happen next. They want to know what you guys are going to get up to next. Yeah. Where do you start? I'm telling you, it, it will go over so well. All right, next we're on we're on step three hundred and forty one of bag eight. 
of live stream five of month two of year four, however long we've had this kit. <laughs> Where do these go? I can't tell. Where do these go? In. So I the little thing. Are they like on the sides across from like here? And then the one across from that? Yeah. Here. I didn't push it down all the way. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like it looks to be. Yes. That, yeah. Okay. Great. Because once you push them in, there. it's going to be a pain in the butt to get them out. Sandy says, I'd be a number one fan, man. <laughs> Kelsey says, a story of the two of them would definitely be great. Lisa says, slap comedy. Sandy says, throw a druid in there, and I'm known. I'm game. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm known. I'm game. <laughs> oh. Good night, Lisa. Good night. Feel better. Michael says, the gnome looks like he's tired of being asked to grant wishes. Well, yeah, he's not a genie. <laughs> It's like gnome way. Gnome. There's no way I'm doing that for oh, no, you. You didn't just ask me to give grant your wish. He does. <gasps> I caught it with my boob. It's okay. Caught it. He he he's a curmudgeon. -y. He's a curmudgeon -y he gnome. You think I want to wear this hat? <laughs> it's stuck to my head. <laughs> I don't have a choice. No. Oh, okay. He's the kind of gnome who says, Get off my forest lawn. I was standing on my lawn. Somebody just, the next one ever just started hosing me down with water. Back in my day. Oh, look at that. Now we're cooking. That looks like a fan. Is this the is this the whole is this the fan that cools R two D two down? It's his processor <laughs> fan. Uh, the possibilities are endless. That's what I told him, Sandy. I said because the brilliant thing is he's got what almost two and a half, three years, three and a half. I don't even know now. So many years already of interactions with her built up. That he can draw about. So he can start. Previously right. He can start further back on the timeline. And then every day. He's building more and more interactions. So all he has to do is make. Keep notes in a little notebook. And then just keep. Going through. These. Scenes right. These these interactions. You can embellish them a little bit. Mm -hmm. To make them more funny or more. Whatever but. Um. Yeah, I think, I really think it would be awesome. Excuse me, that is so rude. I just made everyone yawn. So sorry. She said, Aaron, you're very talented. You'll be so successful in your artwork. I just know it. Thank you. Wait, why am I missing? What? What? Oh, here we go. Get in there. Come on, get in. Get in your hole. All right, now this piece connects to this piece. <clears throat> like that. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Nice. Instrument panel. Wait, why are you giving me? I already did uh, that. Oh. I already did that. Okay, sorry. Right? Did I not do that? I just did this part. Did we not do that part? We didn't do that part. You didn't give me that part. Going from here to here. 
A C. Okay, it's done, I think. Um, no, where does that even go? Oh, it's six of them. Oh, holy smokes. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of, that's a lot of little tiny pieces. The gnome has seen Jamelli on the lawn too much. Embellishing is a must sometimes, but man, y'all will be so successful. Speak it and it will happen. Brittany says, I really like that idea. You would take off beyond anything you can imagine. Telling you. Told you. Do it. Do it. You can do it. <laughs> if you don't know me by now. <laughs> That, that's that's a me move. If you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. Why is this? Darcy like says, so "See, see." I told I was telling these guys I think last night. When I was coloring, that we need to make a line of marks that just says C. C. Don't we? Doesn't that, don't, doesn't that feel like something we need to have? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it's like an inside joke thing, yeah. but I think a lot of people would, would think it's funny. Yeah. Sandy says, y'all make me want to buy an intricate Lego thingy just to see if I can successfully conquer it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even figure out where these other two pieces go. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. Now we done this. Well, bag number nine. Oh, look. And it goes on here. It's part of the same panel. I didn't even know that. So, all right. Let's go, babe. We've got half an hour. We can do it. Let's, let's speed, let's speed the process up. Speed the process up. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Oh, your feet are stomping. Oh, why? Playing to Get your booty up. Broken mind. Break my neck. Darcy says, I say the C to the CNA. Or if she doesn't know something, I say, I will ask Anna. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I know, Nikki, we've been singing a lot tonight. I wanted to do R2-D2, but those kids are so expensive. Yeah, I don't even remember. Like I said, I bought it for him Christmas 2021. That's back when we had money. <laughs> back when we had money to spend. Yeah. Christmas 2021 was our, our big bucks. We had We had good money that year, and then everything changed. Facebook started changing the algorithm messing with stuff like people's livelihoods yeah i mean that was that was the the, the holiday that you, you you helped you donated money what to, donated money that year yeah well i mean we always did from the time we yeah. started from the time we started making enough money to make ends meet because I, I always said from the beginning as soon as we had a surplus above and beyond our bills mm -hmm. we would help others so the first thing we did was start when we had a surplus was start the nonprofit mm -hmm. in 2020 and we started helping people helping other amcers that way and then in 2021 we did we had we were doing so well i was like i'm not yeah. gonna you help people pay off their their bills at, at daily that year yeah well that's always i i want i want, want to keep doing that but i can't do that if i can't pay my own bills <laughs> it's been really frustrating but i'm i'm i really am feeling positive and hopeful that the changes with us migrating over to youtube and mighty i think mighty networks is going to help so much aaron 
it's all, I can already see it coming to fruition just with the people that are in there now with the testers mm -hmm. and the VIP Patreon folks. Everything is right there. It's so it's like easy. A one, like one yes. stop shop. Like people can come in for free and get all the notifications, all the links, whether it's an Instagram post, a YouTube video, a out. Facebook reel. It doesn't matter. Everything's in one place. So you can find it. You can click on it. You can go to it. It's so nice. So huge. Plus the chat, just the, the chat. We've got the ability to interact more closely with you guys. And, and I miss that with the page getting so big. You can't interact on the chat when you're live. You can't really properly go back and forth with someone. And, and this allows me to get closer to people and have those connections and it's it's just gonna it's gonna be so good i i am confident so we just have to get through the next couple months because right now the income is so low because not only did facebook cut it in december but we haven't been posting as much because i've been so busy trying to scramble and transfer things and youtube is not grown yet so like Right now it's tough, but two months from now, I think it's going to start getting better. And three months from now, I think it's going to be even better just with all the stuff that, and, and the classes that I'm going to be running. I need to put those up for this month. Still, yeah. I got to get on that. I can't neglect that this you month because that's a huge chunk of our income this month, yeah. but um, I can see it. It's getting, it's going to get better. We just have to get through this really hard time and then it's going to get better. I'm so sure of it. I, I think that the shift in focus is the right thing. Mm -hmm. I really do. I think it was it's overdue, but it's the right thing. Yeah. Um, Michael says on the back of the manual, do not attempt the. Oh, I missed it. What? Do not attempt this build with less than a hundred people. Any less may cause lucid Star Wars dreams. Sandy, oh my God, I can turn anything into a song. I get crap for it all the time. That's me, Sandy. Ask him. I, yeah. I make up song lyrics all the time. Janet says, I think I would become cross-eyed working with those little pieces. Tina says, I would successfully drop way more pieces on the floor. <laughs> um... Darcy says, Mighty Networks can only be downloaded through the Google Play Store. No, so Mighty Networks is on the web. It's like a website. So anyone can access it on any device by going to a web browser. Now, if you have a cell phone or an iPad, you can go download the app from whatever device. If you have iPad, iPhone, you're going to download it from Apple. If you have Google, you're going to download it from Google. But um, I will tell you that... Um, we're not like no one should download anything just yet because you can't sign up like, well, you can get in the, the free section that way, but the other signups are, are, are web only. And so I have been having issues with people where they like can't figure out how to get the sign up through, but it's because they're going on the app and you can't sign up through the app. But um, yeah, you can get it on any app store. It just depends on the device you have. Sandy says, I've recently started a new career path, which is totally pro bono, being a paranormal investigator and working with some very well-known investigators. And my thing is, I want to help people that feel they are helpless. That's cool. That's, that's rad. I, I, you know, I'm into, I'm into that kind of stuff. Well, and I, I like the, the draw people. to help people. that Because, yeah. yeah, you get in a situation like that. Yeah, you do feel helpless. Yeah. Um, Hillary, <laughs> hello, Doris, you have a laptop. Okay. So, so on a laptop, you're going to just use mighty networks on the web. Like you're just going to open Google Chrome, type in mighty networks and go there. It's even better on the web. Honestly, there's more functionality, but that's always the way with everything. Janet says, I downloaded the app just waiting patiently. That's fine, Janet. Just listen, when when it's time to like get in there, 
don't use the app to do it. You can open up like a Google Chrome or Safari on your, on your phone or whatever and do it that way. And then once you're done, once your sign up is done, then you can use the app. But it's just throwing people off because you can't sign up through the app. My well, networks, it's great. I am actually taking my training courses through that app for a parent. Awesome, Sandy. Nice. So that's what it's used for most commonly, like traditionally up to this point. I feel like we're breaking the mold. I feel like we're the first uh, content creators slash influencers that have used it for what we're using it for because I've been back and forth with support a lot. And you can tell that um, they're not used to it being used in the way we're using it, but it's working. I'm figuring it out and I'm going to push them to make some improvements that help. And then they can market it to more. I think it's a fantastic tool for people in our position. And I think that they could get a lot more clients on the platform if they use it that way. But um, I think they just haven't, you know, haven't realized a market for that yet. So maybe with us on there, they will, because, you know, we have the potential to bring over thousands of people and that's a lot of, that's a lot of use for them. It's a lot of push to improve the design and whatnot. So it's a new, a new market for them to break into. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so far they, they traditionally have been working with um, people who run classes and courses like yoga classes or, um, training, you know, like it's kind of like a master class kind of platform. And we're going to be doing that in there too. That's the other nice thing. Like, like I said, everything's going to be in one place. So all the signups for my classes, like I'm going to be doing the social media and stuff, all of that stuff will be available over there. So you won't have to go to the website or to this website, that website, Facebook, YouTube, figure out where it is, click on all the things. It won't be necessary. It'll all be right there. Correct, Janice. Do not sign up yet um, because we're not live. We're not launching it yet. Right now we have testers in there and they're going to play with everything for a couple of weeks so we can make sure that everything's good to go before we open the doors and open the floodgates and let everybody in. I don't, I don't want to have, you know, I don't want it to be chaos, right? Like I'm, I'm pretty methodical person and I want to have some structure. So I, I have to do this step by step in a way that is going to minimize, you know, I don't want like 600 people trying to join at once and everybody's having problems. And then it's a huge mess, you know, Darcy, there's, there's nothing to set up. Literally just open up Google Chrome, go on the internet, type in mighty networks. Boom. It's right there, but not yet. Cause we're not live yet. Emma, you're on an iPhone or iPad, so you'll download the app from the App Store, but after you get signed up. So just hold off. All right, I got to figure out where this piece goes. Because uh, there's one of these, and then I'm, you gave me like these. Oh, these go down here. It's You're confusing me. With well, too many told, pieces. You told me to do it all ahead, so it's I know, but keep them here. They were up here with these, and so I thought it was together. I'm like, I don't understand what I'm doing. Okay, this makes more sense. So this goes here, and this goes here, and this goes here. Boom. And this goes here. Got it. Done. So this is, I lived in a haunted house and recently found out it's still tormenting a family four years later, and it opened my eyes to my, to my calling. It may sound crazy, but I can't fathom another family being traumatized by the same house. Ooh. I'd totally be willing to help if you guys need anything. Oh, wow. That's really cool, yeah. though. I like that you have this very niche thing that you are into and good at and that you're going to make a difference with. I don't think we don't have we don't have any. We we got some weird things that happen here and there, but nothing like Back scary. West Palm Beach, that was the weirdest, but, but that wasn't scary. Though. No, I've never felt threatened or no, scared. Definitely benign. Not unless it was from my own imagination. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was if anything that was a benign entity. Yeah. Okay, I have to build this little box here. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, look at that. I like that this piece has moving parts. That's cool. And the oracle comes out. And shoots lasers. Sebastian. Artax. Oh, as far as Mighty Networks is concerned. Thank you. Money ghost is the best kind of ghost. Mm, we left that money behind. I don't, I don't want that. I don't I don't need that level of attachment. You can, people start throwing money at you, then they have expectations, ghosts included. <laughs> what strings are what what ectoplasmic strings are attached to that? Sir. Mm. This is weird. This is a weird box. Who sat around and thought these things up? Oh, I'm. Wait. What? You gave me. You gave me two of these and one of these for that one. But it's three of the. Don't lose this piece. Put that one back, though. <clears throat> okay. And then... What... <laughs> Goes here. That. Okay. Huh. Now I gotta do this one. <clears throat> Building these weird boxes. Strange. Michael says, waiting for Anna to whisper to you from her bed. I see gnome people. <laughs> She's done creepy stuff like that, you know. Wait, why do I have this piece? Where's this one go? Oh, I see. Yeah, did you tell him about the time she did the thing with the candles in West Palm Beach? This is very early on. Um, but one time I went into her room and there was no lights on except for these like little candles, like these little fake candles, fake candles. battery operated. So I just see these flickering candles and and i see her silhouette because they were behind her and she just did she just <laughs> like she was totally being creepy this out. is this is like before any of my influence this is like when i was new <laughs> that was all her <laughs> that was just the way she is has she always done like weird things like that no, not at all. Remember that time when? Oh yeah, when she she came crawling out of her bed with her capos like little, and inflection. Like kind of weird. She was like, "I'm coming for you." Yeah, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> Zane says, "Maybe the ghost believes in you and your nonprofit. Philanthropic yeah, ghost it. friends are the best." They wanted. They wanted to give you a donation. Donations. Maybe the ghost just wanted to, to stay your final month because you left the month early. <laughs> Please stay. Yeah. Yeah, Anna Anna is quite... She's, she's... I'll tell you what. The auditions that she does, that she's done for the last few years, the best, the absolute best auditions are always the ones that are either super dramatic or super dramatic with a with a hint of what creepiness creep yeah yeah super dramatic with a hint of creepy she's really good at that she's always said she wanted to be in a horror movie it's true maybe she'll get to someday yeah she hissed at him yeah picture it 
you you walk you walk into this room that's completely dark except for these these yellowy flickering battery operated candle lights along the far wall and then in front of the candle light is this dark silhouette of this small child with the like the ring you know cuz cuz <laughs> she's in front of the the candle light and that's the only light in the room so all you see is her her shadow basically and then she's like <laughs> Or some whatever yeah. she did. I was, uh, I was like, "What is going on in here?" <laughs> she just what? <laughs> just decided to be. You know, my my older daughter. I remember one time when she was like probably about the same age as Anna was at that time, uh -huh. like five five years old. Um. I, I heard her playing in her bedroom and it just sounded like hissing. It was like this weird, like, like whispers. And so I, I, I like snuck down the hallway to see what was going on. And she had like her dolls and like a couple stuffies like sitting around her. Like if she were having like a tea party or something on the floor and she, it sounded like she was chanting at them doing like all these in, like, like weird whispery enchantments. That's what like, she was doing. What is going on in here? What did she say? I don't she remember. Did this was, this <laughs> was like this was like 30, 25 years ago now, but I just remember it being pretty creepy. Sandy says I would have pissed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty pretty weirded out. <laughs> Well, then, because the then back then you didn't realize that she was weird. Yeah, I got you. This is <laughs> now you know. Cute little, and she is a cute little girl, but she just like definitely has a. She's got flair. Yeah. Uh huh. There's some different. She's multifaceted. Yes, she is, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Yes, <laughs> it is glorious. She's wonderful. <laughs> Children of the corn. I, I I went to summer camp one year, and 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 our camp leader. You would all say, come on, children of the corn. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wait, when did you go to camp? Summer camp? I don't like remember. Like, camp? It was like, what? It was oh, camp. you did tell me about that. But were you, it was day camp? Uh, no, I went to a couple, of, like, over week ones. Like, oh. There was, like, a karate camp I went to, and then there was some other, oh, computer camp, I think. Was oh. How old were you? Um, maybe 13, 12, 13. Oh, wow. You were older. Yeah. Where did you sleep? Like they have like bunk houses or? Yeah, it was, um, it was in. I can't get that apart, babe. Um, it's like just across from San Francisco on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. There's a. Golden Gate National Recreation Area, and a lot of it used to be like army barracks and and uh, forts and stuff that they've just kind of either let fall into ruin or that they've converted them into to different things like that, like old kids places. Oh, interesting. Um, I need the tool. I, I tried the tool. I can't. It doesn't. It won't work. I think you might have to use your teeth. Also, I'm supposed to have four of these per, of per the instrument. It says four times. Okay. Michael, you went to summer camp at 12, had your 13th birthday there. Stacy, you went to Girl Scout camp. I was a Girl Scout my whole, whole childhood growing up, like from, from brownies to um, all the way up to CIT program, which is counselor in training and went to camp every summer and I loved it. I loved it so much. Excuse me for my burp. It came out of nowhere. I love Girl Scout camp. And I sent my, my older daughter to Girl Scout camp too. Okay. <laughs> These look like wheel wells like, like oh you got it thank you okay 
soon as I lived in Oakland, my hubby ship was stationed in Alameda. Oh, um, did did you ever go on the USS Hornet? Because that, that place is supposedly haunted and they have like ghost tours and stuff. Stacy says, I lived in Alaska when I was a Girl Scout. Cool, oh, you probably had some pretty cool camps you went to. I don't think I could. I don't think I would have been cut out for Alaskan Girl Scouting. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> That's some serious wilderness camping. Eagle River and Juno. Okay. These. Yeah. What are these for? Oh, I did something wrong. Of course I did. Of course. Sandy, I you did go did. to it. Cool. Stacy said we had cabins at, at our camp. We had um platform tents at ours. Yeah, uh, Alameda is a really interesting place. It's kind of like the town that time forgot. It's kind of separate, separated from all the other uh, cities around there because it's not like a little island and there's just bridges that you got to go across. So even though it's close, it's, it's definitely got its own vibe and a lot of the houses are like super old. You said You said it's like separated. Do you know what popped into my head? What? You're going to groan. Got to keep oh, them separated. <laughs> Pillar says, I went to Girl Scout camp once. Later, went to New England figure skating <laughs> camp in New Hampshire. Uh, oh. He hates 90s music so much. Who sang that? Offspring. <laughs> Sandy says, I have pics of the Hornet parked right next to the Carl Vinson. Yeah, the, the Carl Vinson, I remember that was the, the, the ship that was stationed there. Or in, it was in port there. Here you go. If I ever wanted to torture my husband, I could tie him to a chair and just play 90s music mm -hmm. for hours on end. Please don't. It'd be like, it'd be like worse than water torture. That's pretty cool. Figure skating camp in New Hampshire must have been really fun. In Alameda, there was um, supposedly this this little this town, this little or this little street or cul-de-sac that they said like were houses that were made for little people. Really? Like they were, and and everybody that that lived there, like I, when I was talking to them, like, you ever hear of this place? And people would always have stories like, oh, yeah, I used to, take, to have my bike route, my my paper route through there. Yes. Well, how, where is it? I don't remember where it's at. Or, oh, yeah, I remember that time when we were driving around at night and then we stumbled upon that, that, that street and had all those little tiny little houses. They were like little short little roof. I was like... I always wanted to find it. Like everybody seemed to have some story about stumbling across it or always going to it or walking through it. And and then they they could never tell me where it was. I even wrote to the to the um I emailed the town historical place and they're like, maybe it was like like I they didn't know what I was talking about. So I started thinking maybe it was just some made up story. And then uh, Did you draw about this story? No, oh. I'm, I'm, I might. There was this uh, 
Thanks, Flip Dizzy. Um, there was uh, one of my friends had uh, a friend that were up there, so I said, oh. "No, keep going." Uh, so I said, um, "Can you just can you ask them if they heard of this place? Because I just I just want to know if it's real. I want to see it." And they're like, they got back to me and they said, "Yeah." They know where it is, and they gave me the street name. So I went. And you I saw you must it. have told me this story then, if you didn't draw, because I remember okay. this story. And I and so I found it, and and it was very odd. It was not little people homes. It was more I think it was houses were built before like code was in place because everything was smaller and the doors were smaller, but they were just like kind of a bunch of little dilapidated houses that were in this. This little kind of it was like a, a almost like an alley. Like you could you could just drive past this little street, you never notice it. And um, so I found it. I was like, ah. And then I didn't think about it for a while, and then I forgot. So then I became one of those people that 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 had the story about finding it and not knowing exactly where it was. So I actually tracked the that person down and asked them again, and they told me. So I wrote it down, and I know how to get to this crazy little street with all these little little sh short little houses it's very, it was it was a it was a good feeling because it was kind of like a, a quest that i was on yeah for, for many years i remember <laughs> you telling me this because remember then i told you about the pink castle oh, yeah. in 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 where i grew up yeah in this the city where i grew up um hold on so Flip dizzy. Amy here. Nana, how many children and grandchildren other than Anna do you have? I think you are. You three are the bee's knees. Thank you. Um, so I have, well, I have three children. So two biological children who are now 25 and 28. And then Anna, my, my baby, she's eight. Um, no other, no grandchildren. Just, just the three kids. And Aaron doesn't have any children other than Anna. So that's it. Oh, thank you guys. History of places fascinate me, Sandy says. Maybe it's the paranormal aspect. I was I was watching, there were like some uh, remember I found those um TikTok videos about the creepy places in Florida? Oh yeah. All the different like, like weird little towns that kind of got abandoned and reabsorbed back into the the swamp oh stacy stacy says amy she doesn't have any grandkids she's Anna's mom so it's true i am i am her mom i'm legally her mom um because i've adopted her but she is biologically my granddaughter but we don't we don't go by grandmother grandchild nobody no one in our family associates us that way we were we've been mother daughter pretty much since before she was born honestly and she has basically she'll tell you she has two moms so she's got mama and mommy and um i am legally her mother and her mom on her birth certificate because i've adopted her so yeah at this point it's just mom i'm not um grandma or anything like that but if you talk about the biology, then then yes. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank you. So wait, now I want to know. I have a question for you. I want to know about the the flip dizzy trademark. Is this a product or is it tell tell us what's or up with that? Is it a character? Okay. Am I, am I supposed to make two of these, baby? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, so just this one goes on this side. This is this. Look at how extravagant this panel is. It's literally like an instrument panel. Super fancy. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this. I have to build this. Look at this. 
Look at all those thriving things. I can do it. It's all right. I got everything on one plate now. So I'm just, I'm going to fly through it because it's three. I'm going to wrap us up. Okay. 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 Or do I you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Mm. If you want to do it, you can do it. No, I'll try and knock all the pieces off the table. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to try and try and go fast, fast, fast. But okay. Yeah. So we're going to build blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue. Where are all those pieces? Wait a minute. Is that black or blue, baby? Blue. So blue. Are these black or blue? Blue. Okay. Sorry. It is looking cool. Okay. Blue, white, blue. I did it. My nose is itching. Sandy's the last one was in the element. It was 1996. A while ago. Blue. Blue white. Blue white. Michael says that's a R2D worthy panel. Yes, it is. White. No. Blue. White. Blue. White. Blue. White. Ow, oh, it scraped me. It hurt me. And then another blue. And then one of these doohickeys. Two doohickeys. And then a blue, white, blue, white. A blue, white, blue, white. I feel like I'm running out of blues and whites here. Michael says, Anakin Skywalker's move to the dark side may have been the worry of all these pieces fitting properly. <laughs> Drove him mad. I believe that. And, and, and anger leads to the dark side. Hmm. Okay, and then, oh, oh no, baby, Whoa. I don't have, oh, never mind, it's right here, never, no, we're good. She says, it's a nickname that I got as a teen. Oh, cool. That's neat. Why? Why? Why did you get that nickname? What happened? There must be a story behind it. Or were you a, um, like a hip hop MC? And <laughs> Anna did that tiny MC. Look at that. I can did you repost that? No. Look at see how it says uh, one to one? Look. Boom. That's cool to actually give it to you to like see, measure it out. You should measure out like that. Okay. I see now. That's why they wanted all that fanciness because it look at that. <laughs> we all need to know the story. Now we do. We are intrigued. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, now we got to flip it. Flip it. Spin it. Bop it. Hold that thing. Now this guy goes here. How come it doesn't line up? It should. It lines up there. Okay. And then this one. So all of these go upside down, yes? <laughs> Taylor's is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, 
O. It's getting colorful now, see? We're doing reds and blue. I'm from Bama, and I was dared to run out nude in the snow. <laughs> Are you serious? That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, you have snow in Alabama? Yeah. Is there snow there? Yeah. I thought you guys were further south than that. No, because that's like where they where they were saying like that the it gets so cold that the alligators there they they go and suspend it in an ocean when it, the little creeks freeze over and they just stick their snouts out of the water. That's fantastic. I love it. I don't really have any crazy stories like that. Uh, no, you do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. Remember the other the, the job that you had? Yeah, but that's not a crazy. That's not like a crazy. I had to work. I had to make money. It made good money. Yeah. Good money. I had to I had to do what I had to do. I, and I had I had a body for it back then. He's talking about when I was eighteen, and uh, my first daughter was little. Um, I worked for a season right before Christmas. I worked at a bar, just a bar, where the where the where the dudes go have drinks after work. Not the deal. Just you know, we had to wear fishnet top and g-string bottom. That's all. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> like Hooters, but see-through. It's fine. It was fine. <laughs> made good money. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> it was another time. I made good money back then because we're talking this would this would have been like 96. And I remember one week I brought home like $750. In 1996. At, at at 18 years old. That was a lot of money back then. But alas. Uh, holidays came and went, presents were bought, life moved on, and I quit. Because <laughs> the guys would call me Green Bay, and I hated it. Hey, Green Bay. Leave me alone. Just because I have broad shoulders. You're going to tease me. They were nice. I never had any problems with anyone. And they weren't allowed to touch you or anything like that. So but they were very serious about protecting the girls that worked there. So just good tips. Michael says, oh, I know such bars. The one they used to have here burned down years ago. <laughs> oh, jeez. <Ooh>. That's terrible. <laughs> Yikes. They had good, really good bar food there, too. Some of the best mini tacos I ever ate in my life. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> See, and he says, girl, when I was 18, I thought I was fat. I'd give anything to be that fat again. Tell me what. Seriously. I'd give anything to go back to like 10 years ago fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm working my way back there now, but boy. Boy, I know what you mean. What? Life takes its toll. Okay, now I gotta stick these. Why do they do this to me? Why can't I put these on before I put these on? Doesn't that make so much more sense? Yeah. Like, let me put them in there before it's attached to all these pieces I can break and fall on the floor and whatnot. You know what these are for? Huh? 
These are for hooking it onto the front of him. Um, yeah, it's like scaffolding. It's like it's like the pieces that phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you, Hillary, for the super stat, super super chat, super sticker. Why they call you Green Nikki? Why they call me Green Bay? Because we lived in Michigan, and yeah, Green Bay Packers football team they they were basically teasing me about my my broad shoulders because i am not a dainty girl i've never been a dainty girl i was a gymnast for 12 years and and always very stocky so they were just they were teasing me but it was playful it didn't really hurt my feelings back then because i looked good I was more confident in my skin back then. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Quite. This one makes sense. This one works. Look how cool that looks on the side. The other one doesn't make sense. Because I feel like there should be something. Oh, there is. Wait. Why did I miss that? Oh, oops. Now it makes sense. <laughs> Missing pieces. Oh. Okay. Now we flip it back over again. And we do what? 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 Um, Nobody's saying anything? Nobody Nikki, when I was younger, I couldn't wear shoulder pads because I, it did the same thing. Oh, yeah. I never wore shoulder pads. I always cut them out of everything because I've got, I've got built-in real-life shoulder, shoulder pads. I don't need those. Those uh, fabricated shoulder pads. Michael says, when your Star Wars stream include no Miwoks, you've worked too much. <laughs> Wonder says, you're lovely now, just the way you are. Mm, thank you. Yes, you are lovely. But you just uh, need to get your health back, I think is what the main thing is. Okay. All righty, then where are we? Hillary says, I was dainty from the waist up. Doctor told mom I had sturdy underpinnings. Sturdy underpinnings? What? What does that even mean? That's hilarious. Okay, watch this. It's going on. He says bring... it's getting there. Yep. Well, I think this part is, is done because now it's time to install it. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Like a like a whole I mean, can you believe this started out as a bunch of little Lego pieces? Look at that. Look how detailed that is. It's crazy. Pretty cool, huh? But yeah, it's time to put it. It's time to put it on. Time to put it on him. So here we go. So it says to put this piece up, flip this piece up, and then and then it goes this way. Chelsea says, I'm surprised I haven't passed out yet because at this at 1 a.m. I took something for my allergies and normally they knock me out within an hour. Oh. oh. We're we're keeping you interested. Stanley says, looks good. Oh. Well, 
Okay. Oh. Now there's some more pieces. We gotta finish up a couple more little pieces. Two, we need two of these flat. Well, I thought you were gonna say sturdy underwear. <laughs> Two of these, and they go just as in, yeah, this is more fun than sleep. <laughs> See, says, I love talking to you guys. We love talking to you. Michael says, strong shoulders makes for carrying your life further than expected. Aww. Thank you, Michael. Joanna says, the force was, was with you. That's why you were able to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> this is, these pieces are hard to put on. And they don't seem like they, like they're really attached it's to like much. They're, they're, they're like attached to like these tiny little nubs. I'm starting to look like art here, though. I know, I know. It's exciting. I still have to build something else real quick. Some other little piece that goes on there. So I'm going to put him aside. And this is looking really amazing. Isn't that cool? All right. Let's hash out this last little doohickey here. what it is what is it so this is where you gonna put this when you're done in the kitchen at, up, up above the <clears throat> the um, cabinets, cupboards. So, Aaron, uh, we we outfitted the kitchen and the family room, and Aaron's drawing space, his workspace. They're all like outfitted for him. They're all Star Wars theme spaces with uh, Star Wars rugs and Star Wars decor, pictures, and different stuff. Um, and so the kitchen is Star Wars kitchen. And so there's this space above the cabinetry. You know how sometimes there's cabinets, they don't go all the way to the ceiling. There's like a big gap between the top of the cabinet and the ceiling. So we'll put him on display up there. Mariella says, hey, I just woke up after my three hour nap. <laughs> Mariella, you keep doing that. She's like me. She takes a little cat, cat nap naps, and then yeah. wakes up. And he says, are you almost at his head? I think um, the back needs to be done and the, the back panel and then, then the head. Yeah. I think we'll have one more live where we have to do other pieces. And then the, the next one after that will be his head and the final final live with the with the lego thing and then we'll be done we don't have any more lego projects to work on we did anna's astronaut and now we're doing his his r2 and that's it we don't yeah. it'll be the end of the lego era maybe one day for now i'll get another one yeah when we have when, when we, we have money yeah. maybe one day. <laughs> someday maybe unless we end up living in a ditch then you get nothing Nothing. Sticks and old tin cans. Old tin cans. Yeah. You go play kick the can. That's what you get to do. Use your imagination, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Got to build one more of these. Hold on. Real fast. Because we need two.
Are you pinching yourself? No, that time it was my wrist. Oh. My bad wrist. Just when I squeezed down, it went a little wonky. Mm -hmm. I have bad tendons in this wrist from gymnastics. They don't they don't like me. They get very you're very angry very easily. Michael says, yeah, living in a pan down by the river. <laughs> For reals. For reals, yo. Um says, oh no, time to get something else planned. <laughs> well, it says, Nana, you look so good. Are you just cutting back? What are you eat? you're eating? No, I have. Well, yes, I, I have, my eating is different, but but it's not just that. Um, because I've cut back and done diets and stuff like that for years, and it didn't work for me because I have PCOS, so I have insulin resistance. I can't drop weight on my own, no matter what I do, no matter how much exercise or dieting or starving myself or intermittent fasting. I mean, I've been eating healthy for years and years and years and years and years. So what I had to do was go on medicine. I take medicine every week now. And that kicks my insulin resistance to the curb. And I'm finally losing weight for the first time in decades. So it's been pretty amazing. So I've lost about 15 pounds in six weeks. Yeah. Six weeks. And yeah, just keep, but yeah, it, it, it definitely makes me eat differently because, um, I can't eat that much in a day and I'm very like mindful of making sure that what I am eating is really nutritious. So I'm not eating nearly as much, um, like, well, like tonight they had Del Taco for dinner. And I opted out and had a beautiful salad, which was absolutely delicious. And I have half of it left and I wish I could eat it now, but it's too late. So I'll have it tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm feeling better. I've got a long way to go, mind you. I, I need to lose. I mean, I, I need at least 100 pounds, but really closer to like 140 would be like down to my what I should be, but a hundred pounds would be good. So check back with me this time next year. We'll see where it's at. It's good. I'm, you know, I'm feeling a lot better mostly because for one mentally I'm feeling better because there's like light at the end of the tunnel, because honestly, no matter what I did, I couldn't, I couldn't fix it no matter how hard I tried. Yeah. And, and it was, it was, it was heartbreaking and it was frustrating and it was a real mental drain on top of that, all of the inflammation and all of the chronic pain that I was having really was bogging me down last year was really rough. And then when I got sick, when we, when we all got the virus in, um, late August oh, last year, yeah. my body was not this, it's still not the same, but it really, it hit me hard. And, um, it was just after that, things just really started going downhill. I gained like 35 pounds in six months after we got sick. Yeah. So it was desperate. It was desperate times. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah. I, I mean, I've even noticed you're more active. With, with, well, because like moving around more and. Yeah, I can stand up for longer Long periods time. of time. I think the inflammation is down in my body. And I think that's helping with a lot of the chronic joint pain and stuff that I was experiencing. And, and 15 pounds lighter is 15 pounds easier on your joints. Sure. You know, yeah. But I mean, I've got a long way to go there with yeah. that. But yeah, no, I, I mean, I think literally just um, mental health wise just knowing that there's a way that there's a medicine that can help me that right there made all the difference that first week that very first mm -hmm. day that i took it and it started working i was like are you kidding me i've never felt this way i it i'll have to talk to you guys about it another time like when it's relevant like people were asking me to do 
a live or a zoom session or something just about this, because I tell you what, there's a thing, there's a thing it's called food noise and it's real. And for the first time in my life, I don't have it. And it's life changing. It's life changing. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm feeling, feeling pretty, I'm feeling better for sure. Michael says, oh, I always see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's usually a train. <laughs> That's a groaner, Michael. That's a, you get a groan from me that time. Since I absolutely love salads. I love salads, too. I always have. But Now, why is this piece pop up? This piece is, like, popping off. Somebody said El Taco is real. Yeah. El Taco is real. It's real and it's better. Than, it's even better than Taco Bell, but it's still, it's still fast food. It's still loaded with. Sodium and processed stuff. Loaded with, with yummy, not so goodness. Well, but it, but it is a step above Taco Bell. Well, that says Nana next time. Or next year you will be a, a new Nana. You can do it. I hope so. I really hope so. Why is this piece not fitting here? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Michael says, I will accept a groan or a gnome. <laughs> Michael, I hope you know how much we absolutely adore and enjoy you. <laughs> Sandy says, I lost 140 pounds in the last year, and it's been so rewarding. That's amazing. It's funny because, like we, like I said, we don't get to know everyone, you know, because there's so many people that come and go and so many people that comment on our lives and stuff. So it's not that often that we really get to know people unless we see them all the time. And even then sometimes, you know, we, we see them, we recognize their name, mm -hmm. but, but we don't really know like, you know, that much about them or we don't feel like, you know, we have that much of a connection other than just recognizing their name. But then there's some people that, that just really like, there's some people that we talk about, when we're not live <laughs> in a good way. There's some people that come up in our, in our family home conversations and Michael is one of those people. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. I really don't. I'm stuck. This is random. I, it doesn't make sense to me because it doesn't, it doesn't fit the same way as the other one. Does it go? No, because see, it covers. Um, Taylor says, my sister bought me a dollhouse several years ago. Maybe when you're you're down next, we can build it together. Didn't you have a dollhouse? Or you have a dollhouse, don't you? She bought you a dollhouse. Like, like a legitimate dollhouse, like, like one of the, like the one that you put the actual miniatures in, or is this something different? Because I bought one of those legitimate dollhouses back when Anna was three. Uh, this woman was selling it on like Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. So it's got like six rooms. It's like two stories, you know, and I had this grandiose idea that I was going to like, it, it was already gutted pretty much. I wanted to strip it with lighting and put the flooring and the wallpaper on and do up every room for her, and buy her all the miniatures and put them in there. And that was going to be her dollhouse, right? Like her whole time growing up. I, 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 tell you that sucker is still sitting in our garage to this day untouched 
I haven't been able to do anything with it. I'll bring it down to you, Hillary. You can have it. <laughs> the next time we go down, oh, we'll bring the dollhouse and you can have two. Because it, it's not happening. It's just not happening. <laughs> They're hard, man. They're, I know it would be awesome. I agree. Like wanting one, it would be, they're super cool, but man, they are an investment both like in time and money. So, and it's getting harder and harder to find places to buy the miniatures at. Like oh. it is already built. Yes. It just needs to be decorated. You just have to run the, the lighting strips through it. And like I said, the flooring, the walls, paint, um, you know, decorate the outside, however you want. And then, furnish it like it's it's the the it's the shell of the there's a name for it there's a name for like the shell of a dollhouse like that i don't remember what it is but i'm like a part of facebook groups where they that's what they yeah see sandy says i used to babysit a kid whose mom or parents in general used to build those they had them all over the house it's it's like an obsession and they have to go like on a table and be on display and you light them up and you're like, wow, that's an amazing dollhouse. And they're like, yeah, I spent like eight grand putting that one together. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I put it in a museum. <laughs> Yours is a heavy box of pieces of wood. Oh man, girl, I'm telling you what you can have. I'm serious. You can have it because I was just gonna, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't even know if it's worth selling it at this point. Like it just, it's just taking up space. It's big. Do you know those white pop-up tables that you get from like the heart, like, um, like Home Depot, right? You go to Home Depot, you get like the white industrial size made out of the heavy duty plastic pop-up table that folds in half, but you can open it and put the legs down. It takes up that table. It's big. This is not a little dinky dollhouse. This is like a four foot by two foot by three foot structure. It's huge. Was it part of um, like a set or was it a little... No, no, they're, they're standalone dollhouses. You just, there's like all different. Um, in fact, if you go into the dollhouse community, there's like all different styles. Uh, there's one that looks like a Victorian house. And there's one that looks like this and that. And they know the names of them. They're like, oh, that's blah, blah, blah. And, and that's blah, blah, blah. Oh, I love what you did with blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wow, you guys are really into this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. It's a, it's a big hobby. It's a big. I think it used to be bigger, though, because they're really talking. They're really talking about how they're having trouble finding things. And oh, I think it goes like this. <gasps> yeah. yeah, I think it's like a door. Oops. Just fell off its hinges. I think it's like a door. Maybe I have the other one on wrong. Maybe they're both supposed to be like a door. That would make maybe more sense, actually. I think I have the other one on wrong. That's the problem. Look at and then and then his little guns come out, right? Mm -hmm. Should I I should probably not say that. Most social media platforms don't like, like it that. when you talk about those things. His pew pews. Yes. His pew pews come out. You see, then it seems like these are on backwards. Like I need to switch these. Flip it over. <gasps> Nikki says, I think I have one of those in my mother's attic, but my sister ruined it. Probably. That sounds about right that you would have one in the attic. Now I forgot which way. Now I forgot which one Just goes where. This is y'all. It's time for bed, man. Yeah. I I can't function anymore. Okay. Gotta finish. Gotta finish this. Gotta finish this. 
No. Goes this way. But yeah, no, I'm serious, Hillary. You can have it. I'm very serious about that. Because I don't think I'll ever get around to it. Okay. See? Check it out. They're doors. Look. Open. And then you go. And then you go. And then you go. Oh wait, maybe only this one's a pew pew. Wait, what does this one do? That's not a pew pew, is it's it? Like, like you could, he interfaces with computers. Oh like yeah, he's on the wall. So. Like a little arm goes on it. You know, yeah, an arm. Uh huh. That he's. Uh -huh. That's a. That's obscene. Ah, that would have been. <laughs> Drop that. That's that's that's. That's dirty, R2. Bring your thing out and stick it places. Stop that. I swear this piece isn't in here right. Because it, it's like pulling away. Stay. Hey, that's, that's it. it. Four more. These last, yeah. these little four white pieces, and that's it. Here you go. And put that in the bowl. I just have to put on these last, these last four pieces. Tina, 5.3 earthquake right now. Ooh. Creepy. You guys just had another one the other day. Sandy says, quick question, because I'm moving south. Are y'all going to the Mayo Clinic for anything? No, we are not. Centered by El Centro. Shook the apartment. What was the uh, Richter scale? 5.3. That's... Okay, that one, and that one. Oh, wait, that's oh, up here. He keeps running away from me, trying to keep moving back. That one. And... And says, I went to the transplant center, and I'm sure y'all haven't been there, but still want y'all's opinion. Okay. The front, I, I think I think the front of him is done. What do you think? What do you think, baby? I want to see it. Oh, yeah. Does it look like? Yeah, it looks like his body. Yep. Pretty cool. So exciting. It's coming together. And this is what the back looks like. <laughs> his guts. You can see his guts. He's got this weird little neck that needs a head. But yeah. Pretty awesome. So yeah, I think uh, Darcy, so how much more do you have to do? When should I expect him in the mail? Um, I think that the next, let me see. How, where's the bags? So we've got 10, 11, 12, and 13. So I'm going to say 10 and 11 are probably, or at least 10 with the back. And then a couple of them are probably the head. And then the last few pieces. It's probably 10, 11 back, and then 12, 13 head. I'm willing to bet anything. I do need to figure out what's happening here. That's annoying me. Do you see that? There's a little gap there. See, you can see right through it. Mm. 
that doesn't seem right. So I will have to explore that at a later date. But for now, for now, we are done. <laughs> John Williams music playing silently. R2 wants his parts to stay away from the floor for now. Oh, he got them all back for, for today. We're still missing the one, but everything today was there. So yeah. you didn't lose anything. That's when you... good. <laughs> all right, guys. It's almost 4 a.m. Yeah. We're going to say good night. Yeah. See? see? Good night, y'all. We'll good see night. you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.